All right, guys, thanks for joining me here on another tour of an awesome RV. This one right here is a previously owned 2021 Jayco Seneca 37L. The 37L is the one with bunk beds. Um, this one is optioned very well, impressive paint scheme on it. So we're going to do a short tour, walk around the outside, walk around the inside so you can check it out. So again, the Jayco Seneca is here on the S2 RV chassis, which is a custom built chassis by Freightliner, uh, specifically built for the RV industry. This one has the three, six, uh, 360 horse, 6.7 Cummins in it, <clears throat> Allison 3000 MH transmission, thing will tow up to 12,000 pounds. So uh, we have our molded steps, which Jayco is known for. And then you have, again, your seamless molded front cap which is perfect because when you're flying down the road, you want that thing to um, stay out of the elements, get um, not have any seams up there to get water infiltration up in that front cap. Uh, 22 and a half inch uh, Michelin tires, some Alcoa Freightliner rims on there. Um, and then we have side cameras and backup cameras, blinker operated. Paint scheme is like a silver, a charcoal and like a plum, maybe you would call it. Right here's your exterior entertainment. That TV, stereo, all side swing, aluminum baggage doors, um, fully insulated doors as well, dual hinge, single latch, um, completely wrapped in there to make sure your stuff stays nice. Seneca, of course, has the pass-through storage which most of these manufacturers on a Super C do not have a pass-through storage. Again, pass-through storage the other side. And then back here is your propane tank and some more storage and more storage. Each one has a light in there that you can control from inside. Um, again, 20,000 pound towing, excuse me, 12,000 pound towing on this. One piece molded fiberglass rear cap gives it that diesel pusher feel. Uh, super nice. This one was optioned with the rear ladders. You can see the one next to me was not. Um, seven way plug back here and set up for air brakes. Depending on if you want to tow a car, you want to get an Air Force One, something like that, you can. Hot water heater. Looks like we are 10 gallon hot water heater. Um, Cummins Onan 8000 QD, which is a diesel um, generator, runs right off of your diesel tank. Hours on the generator, 229.2. Pretty much nothing. Wet bay right here, whole house filtration. Um, your Nautilus center, super cool. You just flip those switches and you only have to have one hook up on there. Uh, macerator built right in so it's got what's called the SantaCon system so it's a macerating pump on there and it will grind up everything in your black tank make it a lot easier less clogs in the future single fuel fill right on the driver's side makes it a lot easier i'm um, just having one tank to mess with other side of your pass-through storage it does have a 50 amp power cord reel on there so super easy to reel the cord up because those 50 amp cords man they're heavy especially when they get cold other side of your storage phase. And then battery banks there. Def tank up front. And this one does have a diamond shield protective coating on the front of it as well. So let's take a peek on the inside. All right, so I have the slides in still so you can see what it looks like for when you're traveling. So easy in, easy out of the cockpit. Plenty of room to recline that chair. This top bunk flips over up out of the way to give you more headroom to get in and out. Um, but when you get out of the cockpit, you got plenty of room to walk through here. A little bit of a squeeze right there, but then the rest of it is wide open. And then the bed. What's cool with these new tilt -to beds um, is you can actually use it while traveling. Previously in the past, you had to take this part, flip it over on top of the other part, and then your bed was completely useless when you're traveling. So now you can actually lay on it. Uh, the only thing you just can't walk around it, I guess. Washer and dryer already in here. Pretty cool. But that's what it looks like for travel mode. Um, another big thing traveling wise is the refrigerator. Can you open it? 
and get it almost all the way open. It won't stay, but freezer opens all the way, fridge gets almost all the way open. Otherwise, everything else you can use. So let me run those slides out quick. All right, so now we're standing inside of it with the slides all open. Look how much floor space there is. Plenty of room. So we'll do a quick walk around. I want you to notice that's a big TV. It's got to be a 50 inch. I don't know exactly, but it's got to be a 50. It's it's pretty big. And then a massive fireplace down below. But all right, so we'll start here in the kitchen. Um, so you'll see tons of uppers up there. And what's nice is there's no hinges on there. Uh, all real solid woodwork throughout. So this is real wood. This is a wrap style, but it's real wood. It's not a MDF. Um, and then you have all solid surface countertops. I don't have my wedding ring on, but this is actually a solid rock. So you can cook on here. You can um, cut on there. If you do scratch it, you can buff it out, wet sand it. Um, otherwise, and then it's, it's cool because it's non-porous. So if you do put food on there, there's no germs. Residential pull-out faucet, stainless steel single bowl sink. And then here's your three burner cooktop. Um, and then this piece comes up and you can store it underneath there. No oven in these, no one ever uses them. So this is a convection microwave, 31 inch, 1100 watt convection microwave, storage everywhere. Huge drawer. Um, and then across from that, residential Whirlpool refrigerator. It's the French door style. So fridge on one side, freezer on the other, water inside the door, ice maker. Um, Again, 50 inch TV, sound bar, spot to put, gaming system, DVD player, whatever you want underneath there, and then an electric fireplace. Now that does put off heat, like a 5,000 BTU space heater would. In the super slide, you have your dream dinette, which is nice for these. It is solid surface to continue it on into here. And there's no pedestal legs. So easy to get in and out of both sides. Um, four seat belts at that dinette, storage underneath both of those cushions, and then massive windows that all open up. And what's really cool is they actually trim your windows out and not just leave a blank piece of metal like most brands do. More storage up top, and then this right here is a trifold sofa, so this does turn into a bed if you ever needed it to. Cup holders on both sides. And then pantry, so these slide out, pretty cool. Top and bottom, bunk beds. So massive window on each one of them. Light on each one, TV on each one. I believe there is, I think there's a DVD, yep, DVD player built in on those TVs also. And then you have drawers underneath. That was an option on this floor plan to get the drawers underneath that bottom bunk. Across from that's your bathroom. So residential one piece fiberglass shower no seams in there for it to leak real glass triple um, door nice shower head solid surface countertops again and the vanity porcelain foot flush toilet again there is the macerator um, so you don't have to do it physically on the toilet it's all outside medicine cabinet and then back here in the master so tons of storage back here Another TV, you're probably uh, 32, I would say maybe. And that flips up for more storage back there. Throw a safe back there if you want. And then again, here's your washer. A couple of drawers down below. Nice bench there. Storage on both sides. There is um, 110 outlets on both sides as well. And then you have storage up top. Those lights are reading lights. And then this bed, you just press a button and it will lay flat. Multiplex control, everything is controlled from here. Um, so you can download the app and I can show you how to do that. It's very simple. You can run everything you want through this panel. This bunk up top here, again, rated 750 pounds. There is outlets in 110 and 12 volt up here, power shade. And then again, that flips up. And then into your Freightliner chassis. So leather wrap seats up front, look in really good shape. Um, S2 RV, again, it's got an automatic four-point hydraulic leveling system. Uh, brake controller built in. Power mirrors, um, dual stage exhaust brake. Uh, cameras, two airbags with all the monitoring. I mean, it's got it's got everything. So 
Um, drives great. Drove down the highway the other day. Worked awesome. Um, so yeah, definitely worth checking out.